Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast for July 18th. Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. Now let's take a look at news. We have a lot of fresh stuff today, folks. In the good doc or bad doc department, a Barnstable County Superior Court jury is now deliberating the fate of a sandwich physician accused of prescribing painkillers for no medical purpose. Dr. Michael Brown is charged with violating the Controlled Substances Act and Medicaid fraud. The jury received the case this morning after attorneys completed closing arguments. Brown's attorney, Russell Redgate, painted Brown as a compassionate doctor trying to treat his patients to the best of his abilities. Prosecutor Stephen Hoffman asked the jury to use their common sense and judge Brown by his actions, not by his words. Also in the news, police are working to identify a body found floating this morning in shallow water along the shore of Middle Pond in Marston's Mills. The body, found at approximately 7.30 a.m., could be that of a 24-year-old Marston's Mills man who has been missing for a week. According to police, the man left a note last Wednesday indicating he may have intended to harm himself. A kayak, missing from his family's home nearby, was later found overturned on the shoreline of the pond with the paddle floating in the water. Also, in breaking news, a pit bull was shot and killed during an early morning drug raid today at a Hyannis residence after it lunged toward investigators, according to Barnstable Police. Barnstable and Yarmouth Police were executing a search warrant at 245 Mitchell's Way when the dog was killed. Several residents of the house were arrested on drug charges, said police, including 17-year-old Sean Ireland. In the tarnished Tinseltown department, several local businesses and individuals that worked on the movie Chatham while it filmed in the area in March and April, have yet to be paid for their services. The movie's director, Dan Adams, said that he still owes between $40,000 and $60,000 to local businesses, primarily because filming went over budget and an investor pulled out. The funding shortage is painfully evident in this scene from the movie where star David Carradine attempts to romance the new housekeeper by buying her a candy bar. Does anybody have any freaking change, man? Cut! Does anybody have any change? No. Can't wait for the sequel, Broke in Brewster. Okay, let's turn to the glamorous world of sports. We start out with these action-packed photos by Ron Schlerb from the Cape Cod Women's Soccer League All-Star Game last night at Cape Cod Community College. Heads up! Also in sports, South Dennis native Carrie Wood was back on the Cape yesterday, still basking in the glow of her third-place LPGA tournament finish last weekend in Ohio. She called it the best week of her career. And folks, there are five Cape Cod Baseball League games scheduled for tonight. Check CapeCodOnline.com for the full schedule. Click Sports. Now the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by a few morning snapshots of the lovely Fort Hill area in East Ham. A great place to sit in your car and eat a sandwich. For tonight, a chance of showers. Areas of dense fog, otherwise cloudy with a low around 65. For Thursday, a slight chance of showers, cloudy then gradually becoming partly sunny with a high near 83. Hey, folks, check out the Cape Cod Times newspaper tomorrow. There's a dynamite feature in the health section that diagnoses Harry Potter's frequent headaches. What ails the teen wizard? Find out tomorrow. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for July 18th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast.